Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wondershare Repair It video. Today I'll show you how to open a password protected zip file without a password. You won't believe just how easy it can be. The best part is that it only takes a few clicks and boom, you're in. So stick around and I'll break it down step by step. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future updates. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to run you through three effective methods that you can use to unlock a zip file when you don't have the password, and let's kick things off with number one. Now, Notepad isn't just for taking notes, it can actually help you access a protected zip file. It's a simple solution that only requires a few steps. Firstly, if you're using a Mac or Linux machine and don't already have Notepad, go ahead and install it. Now, right-click on your zip file, choose Open With and select Notepad. If you don't see it in the list, click on Choose Another App and find Notepad. With Notepad open, go to the top menu, select Edit and choose Replace. In the Replace box, find UTA and replace it with 53TA and click on Replace All. Close Notepad and try opening your zip file again. You should now have access without needing a password. If that didn't do the trick, let's move on to another popular method, which is the use of command prompt. For this particular method, we're going to be using a tool called John the Ripper. It's a bit more technical, but stick with me. Start by downloading John the Ripper and extracting the downloaded file. Open the extracted folder, navigate to the Run folder, and create a new folder inside called Crack. Place your encrypted zip file into this new crack folder. Now open command prompt by searching for CMD in the start menu and hitting enter. In the command menu, navigate to the run folder. Now enter the following command, replacing the name of this zip file with the name of your file and hit enter. This will generate password hashes and save them in the keys.txt file. Now enter the following command and press enter. You might see the password in just a few minutes, or it could take longer depending on the complexity. If that's not working or taking too long, you can also try an online tool. Lost My Pass is a useful online tool that can handle zip files and a bunch of other formats. Here's how to use it. Head over to the Lost My Pass official website, select the file type you're working with under File Types, in this case choose Zip, if there's a robot test, complete it, then drag and drop your zip file onto the page. Alternatively, use the click here button to upload your file. The tool will now start working on unlocking your file. For weak passwords, it's usually pretty quick, but for stronger ones, it might take a while. Give those methods a try and let me know in the comments down below which one worked for you. Now, let's run through how to access your zip files with a password. Okay, let's move on to how you can open your encrypted zip files when you do have the password. In this part, I'll show you the three main tools that I always find handy for such tasks. WinRAR is one of the most reliable solutions, and here's how to use it. Firstly, locate the zip file you want to unzip and click Extract To. In the Extraction Path and Options window, choose where you want the file to go and click on OK. Now, just enter the password when prompted. The file will now extract and you'll have access so long as your password is correct. As I mentioned, that's one of the most reliable providers. However, there's also two more options that are also great solutions. WinZip is great because of its simple and easy to use interface and here's how it works. Firstly, open your zip file in WinZip. To do that, you'll see an open button at the top of the screen. Enter your password when prompted, and if correct, you'll be able to open and extract the files. Seven Zip is another effective and reliable solution that should help you to access your files in just a few clicks. Here's how you can use Seven Zip to access your files. With Seven Zip installed, double-click on your zip file, and the Seven Zip extract window will pop up. Enter your password and click on OK. Once the password is verified, your file will open or extract. 
Now that you know how to open encrypted zip files when you do have the password, let's now discuss what to do if the zip file is corrupted. In part three, I'll show you how to repair a corrupted zip file using Wondershare Repair It. If you've got a corrupted zip file, Wondershare Repair It is your go-to solution for fixing it. Here's how to use Wondershare Repair It. Firstly, open the Repair It app on your computer. Once it's up and running, select More Types Repair from the main menu. On the next screen, choose File Repair to start the process. Click Add and locate the corrupted zip file you're wanting to repair. Hit the Repair button and Wondershare Repair It will work on fixing your file. It usually takes just a few seconds. When it's done, a preview window will pop up allowing you to review the repaired file before saving it. If everything looks good, click on Save to store it on your computer. And that's it, your zip file is now repaired and ready to go. Wondershare Repair It also covers other types of files too, so keep it in mind for any future repair needs. And there you have it, now you know how to open password protected and encrypted zip files and even repair corrupted ones. Thanks for watching, if you found this video helpful, drop a comment down below to let me know which method worked best for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, like this video and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more tips and tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.